Hello, my name is Claire Sherman, and I'd like to take you through my show, Proximity, at Patron Gallery. The paintings in this show collectively suggest spaces that both close in and open up around the viewer. The title, Proximity, references this sense of closeness and relationship to space. While many of the paintings in this exhibition create a dense, claustrophobic surrounding, some allow for moments of air or playfulness. The works alternate between idiosyncratic views of looking down or directly at the ground, with some paintings that suggest a sliver of the sky. I play with the context of landscape painting in my work, trying to subvert the tradition. I aim to make paintings that are both seductive and ambivalent, and I engage the history of the genre while trying to address our current relationships to images, landscape, and contemporary media. These works disrupt the inherent idealism of imagery through the construction of marks together. Image and expectation are disrupted by paint. Spaces crumble and fall apart, creating a tension between the painted surface and the image that is represented. Elements may be forced to the surface only to decompose, disintegrate, and settle into ambiguity. The choreography of paint in my work is meant to create a visceral, chaotic reaction rather than remaining a mere representation of experience. The marks become a type of geology or archaeology of their own, representing, even becoming, the strata of the natural world. The paintings become their own locations. The dense, tangled, and undulating forms of spaces and plants in these recent works address some of the complicated new environments we are facing, full of both worry and hope. While this show brings together works from the last five years, I've focused several recent paintings on forms of wildflowers in dense fields or tangled vines. Although these paintings are intentionally romantic, they're also straightforward and focused. They're analytic, representing a single piece of ground. They ride a line between abstraction and representation, coming together as an image while falling apart at the same time. My hope is that these paintings relate to our current moment, one that is intimate, tender, and slow. Their scale requires closer looking. In a moment that has forced many of us to be distant from each other, the closeness of the familiar environment depicted in these paintings is deliberate. There is a solitary element to the wildflowers. They innately reference a gradual passing of time as they relate to each other as a body of work. Most of them depict a view looking down on a single area of ground. The wildflowers are resilient, existing both in forests and next to highways. There's an element of documenting and living with what is right in front of you in these new works. They're derived from places that I know intimately. Many are based on small trails and hikes in nearby state parks. The smaller paintings are meant to be viewed in tandem with the larger paintings which confront and overwhelm the viewer with spaces that are claustrophobic. Some feel sinister, others weird, some joyful. Several hint at an opening in the space, an escape. Their locations are intentionally ambiguous, moving from one place to the next without a sense of exact location.